Hi, it's Anne. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Here's what we're going to work on today. Um, we're going to be making some faux washi tape using good old office scotch tape. Just the, the ordinary matte finish invisible type tape uh, that you have in, um, uh, in, in, in every home and every office. It's just, it's, it's, it's everywhere. And it makes the easiest, easiest faux washi tape. I've been wanting some washi tape that um, that I could use in my junk journals, and I have some washi tape, uh, but it's mostly stuff I use for card making. It's really bright colors and lots of graphic depictions, and I wanted something that was a little bit, um, a little bit more rustic looking, a little bit you know more tatty and torn. And um, these are a few examples of some that I made using um, uh, just old book pages. It's so easy, it will, it will blow your mind. It blew mine. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the first person to have thought of this. I'm sure I'm not. But I haven't seen it before. That doesn't mean it's not out there. So full credit to other people who've come up with this long before I have. We're going to make a few tags using different kind of bases. But first, let's get into making the washi tape itself. Let's look at different kinds of papers that we have here. It works better on some. I've done quite a bit of practicing on this, and it works better on some papers than others. Um, let's just start with this book page here. This is, what if I wanted a kind of a long piece, maybe to go along the edge of a, the edge of a, uh, of a book page. Try to keep that more in frame. And literally, this is all you do. Just keep a little bit to hold on to. And I know you can't really see that because it's invisible tape. That's crinkled a little bit, but guess what? That's not going to matter. And it's going to pull that text right off. We can clip off the edges here if we want to when we use it. I'll go ahead and do that now just so we don't have to do it later. But it can be it can be raggedy on the edge, and that's fun. We kind of like it like that. It I I would use um uh, I've been using um, glue stick to stick it down. Let's keep going and do a few more. I really like that. It's just a really fun way to to um uh, to to fill in some space in a layout. I haven't tried this particular book surface on a print on a color page but let's see hmm. let's see if we can pick up this J here he may not want to play nicely but this is part of the experimenting and this I am rubbing down pretty well oh he's gonna come off good I could have used a longer piece that'll be a nice little piece to put to stick down on something now he looks ghosty there. Um, these are all the same sorts of, uh, uh, from the same books. Um, I've been wanting some, something that wasn't, that was more of a drawing. Let me see, as long as I'm here, if I can get this maple leaf border. That'll be nice for a fall motif in a journal. rub it and there it goes and I really like that it still has that sort of translucent quality because if I put it on like a brown craft paper or a coffee stain paper that um, uh, color from the the substrate is going to show through so super easy let's do a few more and then we'll get them um, we'll get them uh, put into use Ooh. I know I said I was going to switch away from this kind of book page, but oh, I do like this. Of all of these sea anemones, this is going to be something pretty and colorful. This is from an old book from 1918, and I really don't like the books very much. There's a lot of objectionable material in them, but before I tossed the objectionable parts, I did save some that were okay. Now... Yeah. 
Ooh, that's interesting. This is gonna come through almost looking like a barcode or something. I don't know how that's going to, to use, but we'll, we'll hang on to that. Um, one thing that's kind of fun to do is to pull a dictionary page and find a book uh, or a, 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 a um, um, definition that you like or might be useful for whatever theme you're working on. And just pull out that word and just use that as one of our faux washi pieces. So let's try here volunteer. If I was going to be doing some journaling about some of the volunteering at our grandson's school. This might be a little something I could decorate a page with. And there it is. My lighting is not so great here today, but that'll just be a nice little piece. And certainly you can cut out and collage with all of these words, but it's really fun to have that tape, um, um, that tape um, surface. Set these aside. Um, I have not yet tried napkins. I know so many people do wonderful decoupage with napkins, but I'm not certain if napkins will work for this uh, faux washi technique or not. But let's give it a try. Only one way to find out. Well, there's a little bit on there. Not so much, though. I'm not going to call that successful. I'll save the rest of that napkin for some decoupage. Here is a little piece of scrapbook paper. Again, I do not know if the surface of this paper will be something that'll lend itself to, to this faux washi technique, but I'm gonna give that a try. This pretty plaid. Yep, that one did not work. I'm going to reuse this one on the other side. I don't have confidence that this is going to work either, but I'll give it a try. Maybe if I try ripping it a little faster like a Band-Aid. Yeah, I got a little bit there. That's a nice little bit. And the fun thing about this, um, as opposed to having a whole roll of washi tape that you can use and use and use until you're absolutely sick of it by, by the time you use it up, this is just a little bit and you can pull a scrap out of your, um, your scrap bin and um, you know something you probably wouldn't be using for anything else and just a little bit of that design is gonna be really nice. Good, I've not done those before. Those are, that's good information. Let's do a map. Shall we do a map? Here is, here is a map of the Quad Cities in Iowa and Illinois. Used to live in Moline, Illinois, right about here, right when I got out of college. And let's see if we can kind of get the little bit of the Mississippi River here. I'm gonna try that fast technique again. Whoa, looks a little violent, doesn't it? Well, it didn't come out, <laughs> didn't come out very, uh, um, very properly, but I might be able to actually salvage the rest. What about if I just took some of the sticky part that was still there? Well, it didn't come out great. That doesn't mean that it wouldn't for for another map or something that you have. Yeah, don't love that. See if you can see a little bit better there. But if you, I don't know, it might, it might have some usefulness. I'm not gonna go insane trying to save these, but, um, but I think it, I think it's, um, I think it'll be fun. Um, I wanted to try some magazines and let's, I haven't even looked at this one. How about, how about I do a vertical one here? Ooh, 
This has kind of a slick surface, so your guess is as good as mine over um, on whether it's going to work or not. I'll be darned. Look at that. That could work. At least in the AARP magazine. And I wanted to show you this I know will work um, nicely. Um, this is a, clearly it's a visitor's guide uh, from, um, from our summer travels. And this is a real inexpensive, um, the, you know, just sort of, you know, the kind of thing you pick up when you go into a campground. And I wanted to get some green. I guess I might as well just take it off of, uh, off of the cover here because I wanted I wanted to have a little bit of green washi tape and I'm pretty sure that this will work just like it did in my earlier experience or experiments. There we go. What I like about this one is I didn't press it down too too hard and so it came out a lot tattier around the edges which is what I was going for. Let's go for one more. We'll see what's, what's what here. That's kind of an unusual color there, that purple, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I'm everywhere here. I had to move my coffee cup. And what happened to my tape? There it is. I have read and enjoyed this visitor's guide a lot, and I probably should have gotten two copies just so I could have had one to keep. But um, I'm glad to be saving little snippets of it. There we go. And how about what is this dark purple one? That's a gorgeous color. bit of washi, faux washi. I want to be careful about respecting uh, uh, the word washi. It refers specifically to the the Japanese tape that's based in, um, uh, on uh, uh, rice paper. And uh, anyway, so this clearly is faux washi. No, no rice paper was harmed in the, in the making of this decorative item. Let's use some of these things. Um, one thing that occurred to me is that it would be hard to make a whole, whole bunch of them because they're kind of hard to store. The ones that I made when I was uh, uh, getting ready for this video, I just sort of have stored in here, but you know, they're kind of sticking together and everything in there. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not thrilled about uh, having a whole bunch of them together because um, I, I think I'd rather be uh, using, uh, using them up almost as I make them because they're difficult to store. Let's look at using a small piece just as a, as a page decoration. A lot of times I like to have a little bit of decoration along the side of a page and sometimes just a little bit of color will be just exactly what I'll need. Here's from that seashell. I think I like that. That came out so bizarre, but that's a nice little, a nice little piece. I'm going to cut off these ends. And then glue stick really works the best. I tried doing some using art glitter glue. It just got too, um, it kind of pooled and was too visible on the, um, uh, on the, on the good side, on the finished product. So I'm using the Scotch products all over the place here. Scotch tape, Scotch Create Glue. They should hire me. Actually, they should hire every crafter because we all use these things. Just a little bit to get that on the edges. And yeah, it's a little cumbersome to handle. But how nice to have this unusual 
decorative element that you don't have to buy a whole roll of. And isn't that, isn't that a nice little way to finish off that page? You would never guess that that was an old children's encyclopedia page that looks so abstract because it is. Doesn't that look nice? Let's try one. Um, I'll tell you what, let's try another one um, across the page. I see um, the wonderful woman who does Shinuki Arts. She uses a lot of washi tape and she'll use it in um, uh, just kind of going across across pages like that. And I maybe try that here. Cutting off the ends because some of these are are still a little bit sticky. Those are the parts that I held on to when I was doing my, my creation of the faux washi tape. I had to have something to hold on to when I was releasing it. Here's just a little something that bridges the gap. Just a little decorative something there. And while I'm here, why don't I try another piece for being decorative? But we do this sometimes with our regular washi, don't we? Where we tear it in two to get a little bit of more of an uneven edge. Because this is more of a plasticky surface rather than whatever the washi is, um, it's probably not going to tear in the same sort of satisfying way, but who, who knows? Let's see if we can get that. Oh, it's surprising me. I'm being surprised all over the place here. Just a little bit of glue stick. Really doesn't need a whole lot. Let's put one here. And what a lot this adds to an otherwise completely plain journal page. I think when I'm actually writing on these journal pages, I'm gonna smile thinking about how much fun it was to discover this new decorative technique. There we go, so that's jazzed up just a little bit. I'm gonna be writing on all of these pages. It really doesn't need any more. So those are a couple of ways to use um, uh, to use this washi tape. You would use it in whatever way you would use any sort of washi tape. Um, but what I wanted to spend most of my time on today was making a couple of, of tags. Um, you saw this one earlier. I just love how this one turned out uh, because just a little bit of, of, of embellishment just, um, uh, just helps to bring those things um, um, to life. And this kind of thing is very much my style. I have made a bunch of tag bases um, using very, very old book pages that I put, um, I, I, I scraped gesso over them to kind of tamp down um, uh, the, the text a little bit. And then I just sprinkled some coffee on top and it kind of pooled and it's just a big stained, uh, stained mess. Um, here's one where I've... Um, it's just as messy, uh, but I've cut the um, uh, the margins off, so it's a little more um, um, a, a little more ready to be made into a tag. I haven't put the backing on it yet, but um, I always I always think you can if you don't know what to make uh, when you're making junk journal elements, get a bunch of focal focal images and um, and a book page, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, these faux washies are going to be filling in some of the gaps. So um, let's see, which faux or which uh, focal point should we choose? Kind of like that. You know what? I like this one. I want to I want to make a book, um, a, a reading journal this fall, and I do want this 
This is an illustration from a, a book about famous bookshops around, around the U.S. And I think I only want to use part of this because this is big enough. I can split it across two, two elements. So here we go. It's from Shakespeare and Company in New York, I guess. And isn't that nice? Yeah, but I want to fill in this other um, um, area with some of our uh, some of our new faux washi tapes because it has um, uh, this this text in the background. I don't want to have a whole whole lot of text um, on top, but. Um, what? Oh, this was cute. I think maybe I'll put this at the bottom. The story of famous books. Whoops. A little pearl stuck there. Where'd you come from, you little dickens? There we go. And what else do I have in here? We'll see. You know, this text actually might be okay because it's it's much more distinct than the stuff that's in the background. So yeah, I'm going to change my mind and say that's going to be okay along that edge. And I would like to have a little bit of music page. Did I make any music page washi, any extra? I guess I didn't pull, set any of that aside. I have some in this drawer, I think. There we go. This is going to be much longer than I need. some off of this page earlier so I'm fairly confident this is going to work. Yep. Yeah, so I think three pieces. I have this piece of text and this little this little headline and this little piece of music. So I'm going to set my focal point aside. Maybe this goes, maybe this should go at the top. Yep, I think so. Okay, let's get the three of these in place. Again, using that rule of three. Whoops, something's stuck to the back. See what I mean about the problem of storing these things? Not to be throwing shade at them, they're quite wonderful. I tend to just love some sort of strong vertical at the left-hand side of things. It's just a design aesthetic that I'm just sort of drawn to. And let's put our little musical interlude here. It doesn't have to be all the way to the top. It's nice when they're kind of staggered. the story of famous books right over there. And these are just, you would use these just exactly like you would use your purchased washi tape right off the roll. But how nice that you can have just a little bit of it. And you can get all kinds of weird quirky things.
There we go. Looking a little blank down there though, isn't it? I hate to load it up all that much, but oh, who am I kidding? You know I'm going to. Um, maybe just this little border, maybe a little something like this. Oh. oh, here's one I did when I was practicing. There's just a little bit of book page that came out of that that says chapter nine. That's gonna be perfect there. It was very, very little paper, mostly just the ink that came off with that particular pull. But you can see that, see it so clearly. And a little bit of that coffee stain shows through on the translucence. And great. Do I need to ink this? You know, the inking is going to be very barely visible, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because I can tell if I haven't done it. Isn't that a silly sort of thing? But it does make a difference. So here's that little person just reading away. And this will make a nice little tag to put in a book journal. Write a few notes about something wonderful that we've read, or maybe a wonderful place where we have shopped for books, or just visited. Whoops, Anne. There you go. Got a little slippery slidey on me there. I'll back this later. I might actually put some of uh, the, the faux washi tape on the back just to decorate that. I think that's coming along nicely. Now let's do the top. That's my template. So nice to have it handy in the drawer right next to me. I just love how I've reorganized my desktop, my whole desk arrangement. There we go. Oh, I'm liking this. I've been, have been wanting lately to get a ribbon punch, one of those little slot lanyard things. I haven't um, haven't gotten around to ordering one. Maybe I'll treat myself later this fall for some something like that. In the meantime, I'm happy to use my my good old crocodile with its little circular punch, and instead of putting a Eyelet in this time. I'm going to put the more, more traditional reinforcement there, and I just ink on top of the little adhesive circles. There we go. And I'll do the same for the back. Oh, this looks nice and unobtrusive. Not overly done. It has that nice bright pop of color with that book, um, that illustration, and just these nice little little embellishments that are tape. Just those tiny little little bits that we've taken out of um, out of books. Something that probably would have otherwise been thrown away and. It's is just something different to do besides collaging with those pieces of books. That's fun. That's fun. We're now at 20 my, 29 minutes. I could keep going on and on, but I kind of like to keep these to, um, to a half an hour or so. So I'm just going to keep on crafting. And um, I will encourage you to get out your scotch tape 
and to get out um, your scraps of, of book pages, of maps, of brochures, of, um, of, of music pages, and just make, whoa, excuse me, excuse me. In my enthusiasm, I knocked my camera around. Um, yeah, put that enthusiasm enthusiasm into your crafting and your scotch tape and have, uh, have some fun making some faux washi. There's just no telling what you can do with it. Thanks, guys. See you later.